Hi, this video will talk about Astroport on the Terra network and I just want to warn a little bit about the APRs that are showing in the liquidity pools. Um, so if I'm looking at the Luna UST pool, it shows an APR of 70.35% with the pool details here. Um, so the pool APR is 61.65% with the rewards at 8.71% totaling um, about 100% APY. And why this is important right now is because Mars Protocol has just launched. And if you don't know what Mars Protocol is, it is the lending and borrowing platform for the Terra network that is supposed to be like Compound and Aave. And on Mars Protocol, you can do leveraged yield farming. And in the leveraged yield farming, the interest rate depicted here is directly from Astroport and Mars Protocol is using Astroport to perform this leveraged yield farming. So if I look at the Anchor UST pool, it says the APY is about 300%. And if I go back to Astroport and look at the Anchor and UST pool, the APY here is exactly what is shown on Mars Protocol. So I wanted to verify that the APRs here made sense and I'm going through their docs detail how the APY calculation is performed and for the swap fees for every liquidity pool in DeFi there are swap fees that are returned to the liquidity providers and for the most part they are all estimated very similarly and I'm just going to use this formula here to estimate the APR so it is the 24 hour volume in trading fees um, that goes to uh, liquidity providers and it's 0.2 percent for for regular liquidity pools, non-stable swap liquidity pools. For example, Luna UST. And then once you get that 24 hour fee, then it's multiplied by 360 and divided by the pool liquidity to get the APR value. So if I do that calculation here on Astroport, let's just say for the Luna UST pool, I should get an APR, a pool APR I'm assuming of 60 about 62 percent so what i do here is i take the 24 hour volume which is 81 million multiply that by the fee that goes to the liquidity providers which is 0.2 percent as per the documentation so that's a 24 hour trading fees that goes to the liquidity providers then multiply that by 365 which estimates the yearly return to liquidity providers just based on swap fees. If I divide that by the total liquidity, I should get the APR percentage. So divide that by this total liquidity number here, which is 271 million UST. And that comes up with about 22%, which is nowhere near this 62% quoted here. So I cross-checked this calculation with another website called CoinHaul which a lot of Redditors have talked about and has relied on as being accurate. And their 24 hour fees for this pool is much closer to my 22%. Uh, they're, they're calculating a 19.5%. That's because their 24 hours fees is slightly different than what Ash Report is, is showing here. It's not 81 million, but instead it's 72 million. So. TerraSwap has very similar liquidity pools as Astroport, so I wanted to see if I can verify the, the um, fees here and the, the APR return. So for this Luna UST pool, um, th these numbers are going to be different than Astroport just because the amount of liquidity in the pool is different, and there's different trading volumes on here as well. So this is going to be different than Astroport, but I can still estimate this number using these metrics. So what TerraSwap shows is the seven day average APR number. So this APR number is an annualized estimate, but it's based on seven day average data. So to get those seven day numbers, I have to click inside the liquidity pool and take a look at this volume. So in seven days, the this pool has traded almost 200 million UST worth of Luna and UST. So I can use that number and 
and multiply it by the trading fees, which I believe it's 0.3% on TerraSwap. And that would be the seven day trading fees rewards that gets passed to liquidity providers. So if I wanna annualize this and estimate it at an annual rate, I'll just multiply by 52 since there's 52 weeks in a year. So that results in about 30 million UST. So divide that by the total uh, value locked or the total liquidity, which is 51 million. Divide that by 51. That gets calculated out to 50, about 59% in APR, which is exactly what this APR shows here. So I just wanted to warn, and, and maybe I'm missing something, but I just wanted to warn people that are using Mars protocol right now and are seeing these very large APR numbers and AP, APY numbers actually, APY numbers. I just wanted to warn them that this may not be accurate right now. And I could be wrong. Um, I'm welcoming any criticism in the comments. If I am wrong, please let me know. Um, but this is traditionally how I verified um, APR numbers on liquidity pools and for the most part they've all made sense so please let me know what you think in the comments below I have another video that explains how APR and APY numbers are calculated in DeFi and how some of these numbers may be actually misleading so I'll link that in the description and I'll put a card in the above so that you can check that out as always stay safe stay safe and thanks for watching